All right, I'm going to be trying out experiment four. And this experiment calls for um, six volts uh, battery supply. And we're going to be using a potentiometer and a, a little red LED. And I've gone ahead and gone through the trouble of hooking this guy up. The LED is already lit. Um, and I do emphasize trouble because trying to use these little alligator clips with the potentiometer, the wires, and the LED uh, leads are uh, very problematic. They're very easy to um, short with each other and slip off. And so anyways, um, the first part of this experiment uh, asks that we measure voltage. Um, so we're going to be just uh, basically seeing, you know, hey, does the sum of the um, individual voltage drops across this circuit equal the total voltage supply? And this guy is um, supposed to be, you know, in a perfect world, 6 volts. Um, realistically, it's actually about 6.4 because uh, he's refresh. So if we were to touch, um, here, I'll just touch the middle post of the potentiometer with the left side of this LED, we get a 1.9 volt um, voltage drop across the LED, um, which should leave about uh, 4.5 or so volts um, between these two uh, posts on the potentiometer. Keep in mind right now, um, this, is a, uh, this is a 2K linear potentiometer, and it is currently um, at, I believe, um, maximum uh, resistance. So the difference between the posts on this guy is 4.5 volts, so that makes sense. <clears throat> so 4.5 and 1.9 is about 6.4, so voltage is logical here. And I think the, um, the idea for this experiment is we are supposed to kind of measure, you know, what happens when we turn this potentiometer um, in terms of, uh, you know, voltage and um, current. Uh, measuring current is going to be a little bit more of a pain because we'll have to tap into this somewhere. Um, and the other thing to watch out for is, is as we turn this potentiometer, we don't want to pop the LED because if we turned it entirely um, clockwise, um, we would eventually end up with no resistance. So it would be like six and you know six point four volt battery supply flowing through an LED and straight back to the power source, and that would definitely burn this guy out. So. Um, let me take a quick look here. Right. So um, I actually did this experiment earlier on uh, with my wife to help hold some of the probes because trying to hold both of these guys on the probes, um, you know, touching while turning the potentiometer when it's not connected to anything, uh, very difficult to do by yourself. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just leave that out since I'm solo on this one right now. Um, Okay, so why don't we check the uh, current real quick? And it doesn't really matter where we tap in. Um, so let's go ahead and um, put ourselves in uh, direct current. And we need to tap in. So easiest place for me is going to be probably on this outer edge. So what we'll do here, this is the negative side of the power source. So we will do our best to uh, clip this. And these are really difficult to use. Um, if I were to touch the outer post of this potentiometer, let's see, so the, the light is currently, uh, he's not lit. So if I touch here, he's now lit up, 
and we are measuring a total of around two to three milliamps. So I'm going to slowly turn this, and as I turn it, the current should be going up, and the light should very gradually be getting brighter. And since this is an LED, we usually shoot for around 20 milliamps as the optimal very hard to get this perfect, but yeah, so like right about there, it's about as bright as this LED, this particular LED, will go. Um, so yeah, we are measuring 20 milliamps because we are in series with this circuit. Because using conventional flow, you know, power is going like this, going through the multimeter, coming back out the multimeter and continuing into the black lead and of course realistically electron flow mode is going the opposite way but we'll just keep things in conventional for the time being. So um, that pretty much wraps up the LED part of this and I think the other part that uh, they wanted us to try out is using a um, using a 1000 ohm uh, resistor in uh, place of the LED and we're going to just check the current once we have set that up. So really we're just going to replace the load on the circuit, which is the LED in this case, with the resistor. So, let's see if I can get this set up properly. didn't actually check that I grabbed the right resistor. I think I saw the colors right. Um, let me just check real quick. I think this is... Uh, yeah, I think I saw it in there. It's kind of hard to hold it steady, but yeah. Yep, 1K. Okay, so um, we got the right one. Um, let's go ahead and grab the other end of this guy and we'll put him to the post. Yeah, the trick with these, um, the trick with these potentiometers is the posts are so close together, it's very hard to do this without touching other posts. Oops, I had it. Let's try that one more time. There we are. So, and then all we need to do is, um, pretty much set this guy. I mean, I guess yeah, we're still wanting to measure current, so I will add him back. There we go. Okay. Oh man. Yeah, loose connections. start off with the potentiometer in full. Okay. 
counterclockwise mode, and we're going to be measuring direct current. And here we go. So this should be, um, well, let's see here, we're using. because we have a 1k ohm resistor in here and that's pretty much it so um, 1k hold on one sec here let me grab the uh, calculator so our 1k um, 6.4 volt supply um, divided by our 1k ohm resistant our resistor should be should be 64 milliamps I think so the question is why do I only see two so if I were to keep that there and turn this Oh, that's right, because right now he's in full resistant mode, I'm sorry. So actually right now, when he's in full resistant mode, this is a 2K ohm resistor. So it's 2K plus the 1K, it's 3K, uh, 3K of total ohms. So it's 6.4 volt supply divided by 3,000 equals about 21.3 milliamps. And we saw to the granularity that this guy goes, we saw, you know, that's uh, pretty much uh, and that looks like that's two milliamps. One sec here. We had 6.4 volts, so that way 3,000. Yeah, that's right, I'm sorry. So it should be 2.133 milliamps so actually it's worked pretty spot on so if we were to put this here and gradually turn our um, resistance down on this potentiometer all the way to the right as far as it'll go now we are uh, increasing the current flow up to around seven milliamps which I mean, essentially, this is no longer offering any resistance in this circuit, so we would have our 6.4 volt battery supply divided by just 1,000 ohms, which would be about 6.4 milliamps, which is right about what we saw, because it was somewhere between 6 and 7. So, yeah, that makes sense. So, I guess the rule here is that, uh, you know, this potentiometer is assisting um, and, you know, being a variable uh, resistor, which will have an immediate impact on the current flow to the rest of the circuit. So, and I think, I think that's about it. Yep. Alright, well, that's the end of experiment four, and see you with, uh, when we get to experiment five.